There can't be that much traffic at 8 o'clock in the morning. Well, look, if you'd scheduled this thing as well as you'd scheduled your first wedding, then we might have been okay, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Do we understand each other? I'm sorry, all right? Look, don't do the I do thing without me, otherwise I'm calling the whole thing off, all right? Yeah. Now, look. <laughs> that was also a joke for crying in a bucket. You know, what's the matter with you young people? You don't seem to have a sense of humor these days. You know, if your mother was alive, mm, I'll tell you what, she had a sense of humor. Yeah. No, all right, all right, I'll stop, I'll stop. Just, I'll be there, okay? Bye. Congratulations, Mr. Neil Sheridan, for being the 8 billionth human to walk on this Yes, 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 I heard you the first time. Who the hell are you? You can call me Lily. I bring you good news. I'm happy to inform you as the 8 billionth human to walk on this earth, you have earned the privilege of choosing how you're going to die. Out. Now. Some son of a bitch is marrying my middle-aged daughter and I need to show my support! Make it quick. So, you see, Mr. Sheridan, we at Faith Inc. have been monitoring mankind's population growth since the beginning of time. After thousands of years, it gets kind of boring, TBH. So, we've decided to liven things up. For every one billionth child born, we've decided to let them choose how are they going to leave this world. To pass on, to transition into the oblivion. To die, you mean. I couldn't have said it better myself, Mr. Sheridan. Oh, shut up. Now, you're going to wear these. Oh. <laughs> oh, look. Oh. Oh. Where am I? Now, let's go over some of the options. Oh. It's getting, getting a bit hot in here. Would you prefer being engulfed in flames? <laughs> or how about getting caught in a crossfire? <laughs> or maybe a tiny accident on the way to the wedding? <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? What the fuck was all that about? We have plenty more options to choose from. Oh. Now! Out! Mr. Sheridan, I need you to... I swear to God, do not test me! Mr. Sheridan, we're running out of time! I'm gonna give you to the count of three and then you get out of my... Today! You're dying today. Please, Mr. Sheridan, just answer the survey. I have a wedding to catch, and you are making me late. Just tell Mary you had a flat tire or something. What? You know Mary? Not personally. 
But I know she's your daughter. Your, your youngest out of four, if I remember correctly. Well, five, supposedly, if you're counting Basil. How do you know that name? Basil Sheridan. Uh. Your fifth child, supposedly. <laughs> we have your records, Mr. Sheridan, on everything about you. <laughs> So today is the day, eh? That's what I was been trying to say, Mr. Sheridan. As the eight billionth human in existence, you have the privilege of. Don't say that word. Privilege. So loosely used nowadays. No way out of this one? No, sir. I assume because you exist. And because of all this eight billionth human shit appears to be a thing, that there is some form of afterlife then. I can't tell anything, sir. Right. Well, you know, I know, that I'm not a religious man, never have been. But somehow I've always known, deep down, that Basil has been around us all the time, watching from heaven whatever you want to call it. Imagine, three daughters. I mean, I love them all, but having a son? Well, you can't stop life's wheels turning, I suppose. Right. Pressed for time, are we? Deadline, sir. I'm sorry. Don't I at least get to see my daughter down the aisle? Come on, please. It's my death day. One little hint, please. You're going to have to drive really fast. 